Hello again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I have a sales update video for you. This isn't really like my normal weekly ones um, because this is kind of spread out over the last two weeks. I missed a week to be honest. Um, but I did want to come on here and just show you a few of the different sales that I've had over the last two weeks. So some of them are really good and some of them are just kind of like really basic sales. But I like to show you kind of the spectrum. And stay tuned towards the end of the video because I'm going to show you my best sale I have ever had as a reseller. Um, it was on eBay and stay tuned, I'm going to talk to you all about it. So, um, first things first on Etsy. This was a dress I picked up just a little while ago at a thrift store for $2. It was vintage All That Jazz. I'm going to show you the label. It's upside down. I'm sorry, but you can imagine it right way up. All That Jazz is from the 90s. Um, and I liked this piece because it was all kind of like buttoned down the front. It had a pinstripe detail on the back. Um, very, very 90s style. And All That Jazz is a good 90s brand. It does have a bit of a following. So this sold in just a couple of days for $39.95 plus shipping. So great little sale there from Etsy um, and then these I can't quite remember where I picked these up but it was very recent I think maybe a rummage sale and um, they were just a vintage pair of shorts from about the 70s they were from JC Penney so nothing amazing and um, but they did have that sateen look to them and they were kind of high cut on the legs very kind of you know 70s 80s movies um and they sold for 34.95 and i think i only had about a dollar in those so a great flip there as well all right and on to poshmark so i'll just show you a few random ones on poshmark so these hudson jeans sold and um, i paid two dollars for these as well at the same thrift store actually as the all that jazz dress just on a different trip um and i haven't actually picked up hudson before again i will show you the label in case it's something that you want to look out for when you're out and about this little Union Jack um, sort of rivet at the back as well is something that I think a lot of people um, kind of keep their eyes open for. So you can kind of see that there as well. They were very, very cool, kind of like flares, almost like bell bottoms. They were really neat. And like I said, paid $2 and they sold for $40, as you can see here. Uh, next is a new text horrid sweatshirt. I just showed this in a haul. Just picked it up at a yard sale for, I think I paid $3 for this. Um, like I said, it was brand new with tags. I showed it in a haul and I think one of my subscribers may have picked it up. And if so, thank you so much for buying this. Um, and it sold for 31 as you can see here. And I think I sent out an offer. So there would have been a shipping discount included there as well um, that I would have sent to them. But really, really cool. Love the design. Perfect for the upcoming fall and Halloween season. Speaking of Halloween, this item was also in a recent haul video. I got this from a rummage sale. I paid $1 for it. It was a vintage Halloween sweatshirt, which I absolutely love to pick up. And the cool thing about this one is you can see on this like close up um, one, it's all cross stitch. And obviously it has like little black cats for the eyes and nose and mouth. I really liked it. It sold almost immediately when I, uh, when I listed it and it sold for $28. All right, next is a pair of Coach um, leather loafers. I picked these up at um, a little thrift store I've been frequenting. I've been vlogging when I'm going there. Like if you like thrift with me, so that's the kind of content I'm putting out right now. So um, I'll try and link it around here somewhere so you can check it out. Um, but it's one that has been doing a 25 cent sale. So all their clothing, shoes and purses were 25 cents. And this is the first thing I found when I walked through the door. A pair of Coach loafers for 25 cents. And they sold in a week for $25. So again, really nice flip and that pretty much paid for my whole haul from that particular visit, which is amazing. Um, I grabbed this at the same yard sale as I picked up the Torrid sweatshirt, the school sweatshirt I just showed you. This is a Sensi warmer. Um, you can see the logo right here, again, in case that helps, right there. And I picked it up because it was Halloween. I'm very picky with Sensi warmers, but if they're like maybe Christmas, but definitely Halloween, <laughs> definitely Halloween, um, I almost always pick them up. So... This one cost me $4 at that particular yard sale and it sold in just under 48 hours for $30, as you can see here. So again, a nice flip. And on Poshmark, so it goes to show, you can sell home stuff on Poshmark. <laughs> I've just started listing home items on there, so I'm kind of testing the waters with that a little bit, but yeah, it, it's working out okay. And this Eileen Fisher cardigan, I've had for a long time, I have to say. I'm really, I'm not really picky with Eileen Fisher. I pick it up, but it does sit for a long time, I should say. Um, and so this one sold for $35, but it's probably been listed for about a year at this point. 
and uh, we've got some vintage jeans i love my vintage as you can probably tell um levi's yellow tab high rise jeans and they were size 20 so they were a nice plus size as well in case you're wondering what the yellow tab means is this here that is like a um just one of the vintage offshoots i don't know a lot about denim so don't ask me about denim but i do know that the yellow tab can do okay um and yeah so vintage levi's um and now some vintage calvin kleins these i paid a dollar i think at a rummage sale they had the wonderful like tapered leg very classic high-rise mom jean with that great leather spell out um patch on at the back and these sold for 35 also um these tevas they've been sitting for a long time i have to say they're the anu i think is how you say it let me see if i can get a close-up of that so it's kind of like under the same umbrella and um, there you go you can see it right there and uh, i thought they would do quite well because they were the mary janes but they didn't do super well i think tiva sandals or like the wedges still do a little bit better for me but they still sold for 23 and i picked those up for two dollars at a yard sale uh, these were also from that same yard sale with the Sensi and the Torrid sweatshirt. I'm doing really well off that yard sale already. Things are selling really quickly, which is awesome. Uh, just a pair of distressed denim button flap jean shorts for $18. They sold in a day as well. All right, now on to eBay. Um, I'm not sure if the yard sale with me is out yet for this item, so it, that might still be coming, but it's sold already. It's sold in two days. Um, so this was a big lot of Peppa Pig toys basically you can see there was the house and the schoolhouse a couple of cars the bus and then a bunch of figures and furniture i paid 17 dollars for this lot um because it was part of a bundle at a yard sale just this last saturday and i put it up right away and i got a best offer of 60 plus shipping so i took it and that's a quick profit of around 30 to 35 dollars after fee so i was very happy with that peppa pig toys do sell um and it wasn't too bad to package either because none of them are really breakable um all right so ann taylor i've had these for a while now probably about a year listed but they're beautiful shoes leather soles the whole thing kind of like a snake skin look to them and um, they were listed for 42.99 as you can see and i took a best offer of 32 dollars plus shipping glad to pass them on still for a good price um I actually got this from the same yard sale that I picked up the Peppa Pig toys and I paid $2 for this, again, part of that bundle. Um, and it's Yankee Candle, it's a centerpiece, spelled S-C-E-N-T, very clever, I know. Um, now, if you can find these and they're Halloween, they can go for like 40, 50 bucks. So keep your, your eyes open for these. Um, it was working fine, I tested it, you can see the light on there. And then you can see the Yankee Candle marking underneath as well. And this sold for a best offer of 18 plus shipping, again, in just a day or so of being listed um i picked these up at a neighborhood yard sale actually from my neighbors just across the road i have to say and i paid ten dollars for a lot of them so they were all victoria's secret some were pink some were vs sports some were full-on victoria's secret but they were all like yoga pants basically leggings and so ten dollars in this bundle and because uh, they were two dollars a piece and they sold for 64.99 plus shipping for the whole lot of them and again they sold in like a day to two days of being listed i'm for some reason the things i'm listing right now and they're not necessarily really different from things i've listed in the past but they're moving quickly so i don't know what that means algorithm wise but i'm very grateful for the fast flips i have to say um same with these i picked these up in a huge lot of sealed media so sealed cassette tapes or digital video cassette tapes um and i parted these ones out i think i had six lots of five and so i've sold two lots of those so far so 40 dollars I paid $50 for the whole lot of it, and I'm going to show you that ties into my biggest sale ever that's coming up, um, but just bear that in mind. So, so far, $40 have sold. I paid $50 for everything. I still have four lots of these to go, uh, so they're doing pretty well so far. Um, this was also a surprising fast flip. I got this from a yard sale. Um, again, yard sale with me just went up today with this item featured. So I'll pop it here in case you want to check out me actually sort of rummaging around and finding these items at yard sales and estate sales. Um, but it was just a vintage micro cassette recorder. It was a Panasonic. I looked it up when I was there and the comp seemed okay. Um, I actually listed it a little bit higher because it had its box and its instructions. It was all fully working. I tested it. Um, yeah. And it's all for full asking price of $32.99 again in just a couple of days so really really happy with that sale I will definitely be looking out for those um as I keep going out to sales and um, this was a recent pickup as well 
Uh, it was just a PSP games. As far as I can tell, they don't do super well, but it was a dollar and they are so quick and easy to list. Um, so I list it like, you know, untested and whatnot, and it sold for, I think, a best offer of 13 plus shipping. So again, it's a quick flip and it's not a, a high return on investment, really, um, in terms of like making a lot of money, but it's so easy and so easy to ship. So, you know, uh, J Brand, I picked these up uh, along with the Hudson jeans, actually, from that thrift store. So $2 in these two. Someone offered me $22 and I took it because J Brand has just not been doing super well for me recently. Um, and these are a colored denim as well, so that can sometimes work against them. So $22 on those. This item I picked up completely based on style. It was just a vintage like maxi skirt. It was kind of like looked like a wrap and then it had all this equestrian detail like rosettes and bits and bridles and you know reins and things like that. So um, I took a best offer on this for 24 I think. So not too bad. All right, here comes the sale, the sale that made my week. So the, I picked these up, like I said, with the other DVC cassettes as well. I had this massive, massive lot from this one yard sale. Um, I asked him how much he wanted for all of his sealed media. And he said, I give it to you for 50 bucks. He wanted a dollar a piece to begin with. He said 50 bucks for everything. So there was 275 sealed cassette tapes. They look like this in here. And I originally put them up to sell them in lots of five, just like the other ones. And then someone contacted me and asked how much I had. Went back and forth a little bit. We worked on some shipping and stuff. Um, and yeah, it sold for 500. So that was $50 into 500. And by the way, that was in one day, which is amazing. Um, and then uh, I'm still selling those other little cassettes as well. And I still have about, what would that be? like $80 left to go on them basically. So this was a fantastic flip for me. I would definitely be keeping my eyes peeled for sealed media in the future, I have to say. All right, here we go. Uh, Disney Parks, Jumbo Stitch. I would not pick him up again, I have to be honest. I paid 50 cents and he was massive. He was 28 inches tall, he was huge. He was a pain to ship. Um, yeah, he ended up selling for $40. So it was a good flip, but he sat for ages. He, I've had him for about a year and a half at this point. So definitely sort of a long, longer tail item there with him. Uh, Crocs, these were fast flip also from the yard sale with the Torrid and the Sensi and stuff like that. Paid a dollar and they sold for 18 on a best offer. This was a yard sale find as well. Newer tags, Umji, just kind of like a, um, like a boutique brand, um, and it sold for $22. And I think I paid about $4 for that item. And then the last one is this. I did not know anything about this brand. It's kind of obscure, so it doesn't have a huge following, I don't think. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, and I took a best offer of $30, but I only paid 50 cents for this item. It sat for a while, several months, but it finally sold and I was very happy with it. All right, you guys, let me know down in the comments what your best sale or most like fun sale of the week has been. Have you been out thrifting? Is the yard sales going on where you are? Let me know down below. Um, if you're new here, please do think about hitting subscribe and liking this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, you guys.